Welcome again to Dairy Judging 101. I am Dr. Katherine Knowlton, a professor in the Department of Dairy Science at Virginia Tech. We're creating a sequence of short recordings covering the basics of judging dairy cattle. This video is the third in a series on judging heifers. This video has taken me the longest to put out because, frankly, it's about a topic that's fairly contentious. Size. How important is size in judging heifers? You'll hear lots of opinions. In this talk, I'll tell you mine. The first problem, of course, is that we don't have a standard scorecard for judging heifers. Here is one that was put together by Ted Halbach of the University of Wisconsin at Madison. When I'm teaching students how to judge heifers, I simplify this just a little bit and divide it into three categories. Correctness, which for me includes both frame and feet and legs, dairiness, and then size and scale. I'm a big believer in mantras. These are phrases to repeat to remind yourself of your priorities. For heifers, our mantra is correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. In other training videos we've put out, we focus on the first two of these, correctness and dairiness. If you haven't watched them yet, do. In this video, we're focusing on size. So a heifer walks in the ring, and the first thing I'm looking at is correctness of her frame, her feet, and legs. The answers are yes, no, or I'd like to find better. Then I'm looking at dairiness. Is she clean enough and open enough for her age? And right away, I'm also looking at how big she is. Is she big enough for her age? If you're in a judging contest and you don't know their ages, is she big enough for the class? At this point, I'm not looking to identify the biggest heifer any more than I'm trying to identify the most correct or the most dairy-like. My goal is to sort the heifers into groups, get the correct dairy heifers that are big enough grouped together. Once I have them grouped in my mind, then I place the heifers within these groups. That's when I start comparing. But for now, but for now, for each of these categories, it's just yes, no, or I'd like to find better. So first of all, when I say size, when I ask if the heifer is big enough, I'm talking about size in every dimension. Stature, length, depth, and width. I'm going to throw a statistical term at you, significantly different. In research, there is normal variation in a lot of traits, and when we do research, we want to know if something truly affects a measure we're interested in. So, does adding protein to the diet increase milk yield, for instance? Well, every cow varies in her milk yield from day to day. So if we want to know if a diet really did consistently increase her milk yield, we have to look hard enough to decide if her milk yield was significantly different when she went on the higher protein diet. In judging, do the same thing and learn what difference in size is meaningful, what difference in size is significantly different, and what is just a little bit. Is the difference in size worth 50 cents or just a nickel? Are they significantly different in size? These two shorthorn calves are at least 50 cents different in size, so I'm going to favor the bigger calf. I have a few examples to show you. And these photos are from different shows. Sometimes the heifers are lined up right to left and sometimes left to right. I'll put this blue ribbon next to the first place heifer in each series of photos to let you know. Let's take a look at these jersey calves. You can see that the first heifer is taller than the second heifer, but they're close enough that if you think the second heifer is a nickel better in her correctness or her legs or her dairiness, she is certainly enough in range that you could win with her. On the other hand, if you look at the Holsteins, the calf on the left is just too small. She looks a whole class younger than the other two. In the show ring, it's hard to do much with a calf like that. There's some variation in size here at the top of a good class at Madison. This kind of variation at the top of the class is something that you wouldn't have seen 10 years ago. But now, if that calf in second is a few weeks younger and better than the calves in third and fourth, it's perfectly okay. She's close enough in range, especially if you know her birth date and she's three or four weeks younger, perfectly fine to have her up there. Now, in a judging contest, you won't have the luxury of knowing their age. In that case, she really does need to be better in her correctness, her frame, her feet and legs than the bigger calves in third and fourth. Not just a nickel better, but she needs to be at least 50 cents better. 
Here's another example. This looks like a very logical placing to me. The first heifer, the white one on the left, she's big, she's straight, she looks to be clean enough. The last heifer all the way on the right, she's the smallest, and she's not good over the top line. If you're judging this class at a show or in a judging contest, the only question you'd really need to ask yourself is between the middle two. The black heifer in second is taller, the third heifer has a little more rib. You can justify either in terms of size. So choose the more correct heifer and roll on. Here's another example, a county fair with the first place heifer on the left. You can see that the third and fourth place heifers are smaller than the one in last, than the heifer all the way on the right there in fifth place. That fifth place heifer is pretty big, but notice she's also smooth, and at least from this angle, she's not great in the leg. In this case, go for it. Beat her with those two smaller, cleaner, better heifers, whether it's the show or a judging contest. So let's stop and review a little. We're looking for correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough for their age. You know that on the farm and in the show ring, correctness of frame and feet and legs matters most. And always, you need heifers that are clean enough and open enough for their age. The trend in the show ring is increasingly in this direction. Size alone is no longer enough to win. Today, you can definitely start with a heifer who isn't the biggest in the class. But here's the other half of that sentence. There is such a thing as too small. We call this the peanut rule. If you're judging a show or a contest, be careful not to fall in love with the peanut. So what's a peanut? A peanut is a calf or a heifer who looks like she's a whole class younger than the others. She looks like she doesn't belong. She is significantly different in size than the others. 50 cents smaller, a dollar smaller. The peanut rule is a calf this small starts toward the bottom and she has to fight her way off. It's not enough for her to be the most correct heifer in the class. There has to be something really wrong with the bigger heifers for a peanut to work her way up. Part of me hates this. I showed good jerseys growing up, but we were just not very good at raising calves. Almost always, I was showing the peanut. Also, most farmers will tell you that smallish heifers often have a late growth spurt, and they often turn into good cows. But in the show ring, size still matters. You can start with heifers that aren't the biggest in the class. But if they look a whole class younger, remember the peanut rule some examples. The red heifer on the right is a nice heifer. She's clean and she's reasonably straight, but she looks a full class younger than the heifers that are winning. She's shorter than they are, with less rib, and the other heifers are correct dairy heifers. They win. I'm going to take this further and make a statement I'm a little uncomfortable with in terms of the industry as a whole, and please remember not everyone's going to agree with me. We know that as long as a cow has been fed and grown to her genetic potential and size, there's very little correlation between size and milk yield, longevity, or profit. So in judging cows, milking cows, size is very low on the list of priorities. But if we're going to judge heifers, and there are good reasons to do so, this is a truth you probably need to accept. If the biggest heifers aren't in the top half of the class, there needs to be something wrong with them. Keep in mind, with heifers, we don't have an udder to evaluate. We still put correctness and dairiness ahead of size and priority. But if you're judging in contests or at shows, this is the reality. If those biggest heifers aren't in the top half of the class, there needs to be something wrong with them. So when I say that the biggest heifer in the class needs to have real problems to leave her out of the top pair, what do I mean exactly? I found a few here that I would have no problem beating with a really good peanut. These heifers on this slide are coarse, fat, bad-legged, bad-topped, or some combination thereof. So it's these kind of heifers that I'm talking about that you can beat with a really good peanut. Here's another example. In this class, notice that the winning heifer is not the biggest in the class. The heifer in last is bigger by all measures. She's taller, she's deeper, she's wider, but she's coarse and smooth. And though it's not obvious here, she's less correct. You don't have to win with the biggest heifer in the class. She does need to be big enough. I hope this is helping you rather than confusing you. Again, let's just review. When I say big enough, I'm talking about size in every dimension. 
tall, long, deep, and wide. The question I ask is, are they significantly different in size? If they are, now you've got to start thinking about the peanut rule. If you've got two heifers and the better heifer is just a nickel smaller, go for it. Win with her. But if she's 50 cents smaller, if she's a dollar smaller, if she looks a whole class different, just be careful. You know I'm a big believer in mantras, so I'm going to pull back big picture. When we're judging heifers, we're looking for correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. All together now, correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. Correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. Correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. Correct, clean and open heifers who are big enough. I hope this presentation has been useful to you and that you'll go to our YouTube channel now and watch some of the others that we're posting. I should stop and do some thank yous. First, I need to thank Catherine Wright, Carol Wilhusian, Chelsea Abbott, and Hannah Van Dyke for current or recent Virginia Tech students who are helping me with this series. Also, thank you to Dr. Mike Barnes, the longtime coach of the Virginia Tech dairy judging team, who developed the approach that I'm describing here. Hordes Dairyman has been supporting this series throughout with photos and advice. For this heifer video, I need to thank Norm Naboltz and Randy Blodgett for sharing photos for me to use. And finally, as always, the biggest thank you is to dairy farmers across the country who host judging practices for your team and ours.